All right, well, welcome back to iLee TV, where I'm your host, Lakeisha McKnight, and today we're going to be talking about how to build your company. I'm going to give you three, three steps to take right now to get your business up and running. Stay tuned. All right, well, I'm here, Lakeisha McKnight, here with ILE TV. So glad that you are here. Today, we're going to be teaching you about how to get your business up and running. You could be a newbie entrepreneur, an author, a coach, a speaker, a marketer, or a ministry leader. We're going to help you so that you can build a profitable business both on and offline. And I'm going to be giving you three specific strategies, three strategies that's going to really be able to launch you out there, get you going so that you can do well as an entrepreneur. And so just note that we are here every Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time here to help you to build a profitable business again, both on and offline. And so let's dive right into it so that we can get those three tips to you. Alrighty. Alright, so strategy number one as it pertains to getting your business up and running is you need to decide a business name. What name do you want to give your business so that it represents your brand? Branding is key and a part of branding is your business name. So be sure that you choose wisely what name you want to give your business so that it represents all that you intend to do within your business. You want to think about that clearly. Take some time to brainstorm what name you want to give it. Are you representing your business and would you like to have your name a part of the business name? That's something to consider. Or if you have a primary service that you want to name your business after, you can consider that as well, but you want to make sure you include a slight angle, a different angle to differentiate your business from the rest. So think about your business name and make sure it's something you want to stick to and that you want to use for marketing purposes. All right, so tip number two when it comes to getting your business up and running is this. You want to make sure that you know your target market. Who is it that you are providing services to or products for? Think about who your typical client would be. Is it someone who books speakers for engagements? Is it a female, perhaps between the ages of 21 to 45, looking, looking to get started in business? Or is it a male, right? Is it a male who is looking to enhance themselves in the area of physical fitness? Who is your typical client? Break it down, understand where they hang out, what are their toughest problems that they're facing right now? This is going to help you as you begin to go into the third tip when it comes to getting your business up and running. So decide who is your target market. All right, and so the third strategy, strategy number three that I wanna to talk to you about today involves your product or service. What is going to be your signature product or service within your business that people will know you by? Think about McDonald's. McDonald's is often known for their french fries. Or perhaps think about, you know, a, a, a local smoothie shack someone, a store that's local to you, what, what are they known for? Or perhaps Barnes and Nobles, you know they're known for books, but they sell other products within the business, but they're known for selling books. And so what is it that's going to be your signature product within your company? Think about it. Think about the type of ways in which your potential client likes to learn. Do they prefer learning via computer, in person, via books? audio programs? Think about it. Do they love engaging face-to-face -face with people to learn? Perhaps you want to consider seminars or other types of live events. So think about your signature product that you're going to offer within your business so that you can ensure that you do not waste time or money. All right, so thank you so much everyone. You have listened to some tips that's going to help you to build your company. I've given you three strategies so that you can get your business up and running. That's right. And so be sure to execute, implement these strategies so that you can begin to see some results. Also, share this information, the information you shared, you've obtained from this video, share it with those in your networks, 
and let them know so that they can get on this particular training series in this particular channel. Also, click on that button if you have not done so already below the video so that you can subscribe and know when we are posting new videos. We try to post them every week, but there are times where we post extra videos. So you will be notified when you click that button as to when we've provided yet another training video. So again, thank you so much everyone for listening in here on Idly TV with your host Lakeisha McKnight. Be sure to come back by here next week, Wednesday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on iLead TV. Thank you.